this tranquil lake hides a terrifying secret. In 2003, scientists detected something moving beneath these waters, something that shouldn't exist here. Over 1,600 earthquakes revealed magma forcing its way upward, cracking the Earth's crust apart. Right now, as you watch this, a 12 cubic mile magma chamber still lurks beneath Tahoe's beaches. What happens when it wakes up again? The answer will haunt you. At 3.17 a.m. on August 10th, a magnitude 3.4 earthquake jolted Tahoe City awake. Within 72 hours, seismographs at UNR's lab were lighting up with hundreds of microquakes all clustered beneath the lake's north shore. The quakes followed an unnatural straight-line pattern, suggesting something far more sinister than typical fault activity was occurring deep underground. By August 15th, the quakes began migrating upward, starting at 19 miles depth, then 17, then 15. This vertical progression sent shockwaves through the geology community. There are only two phenomena that cause such patterns, hydraulic fracturing or magma movement. And Tahoe had no fracking operations. September brought irrefutable proof. Satellite radar interferometry showed the ground near Carnelian Bay was bulging upward by 2.3 inches, classic evidence of magma intrusion. Seismic tomography scans revealed two distinct magma fingers, one stretching toward Tahoe Vista, another aimed directly at King's Beach, moving at 4.2 meters per hour. The shallower the magma climbed, the more violent the quakes became. Magnitude 4.7 tremors started cracking docks and roads. Geologists made an urgent calculation. At its current rate, the magma would reach critical depth, five miles, by New Year's. Emergency protocols were quietly activated. October 3rd marked a terrifying milestone. The magma reached 12 miles depth, entering the zone where dissolved gases begin expanding rapidly. This is when magma becomes most unstable. The quakes now occurred in terrifying harmonic tremors, a phenomenon seen at volcanoes minutes before eruption. On November 4th, GPS stations detected sudden ground inflation near Incline Village. The magma was pressurizing. USGS volcanologists were placed on standby. Then, on December 11th, silence. The magma had stalled at 8.7 miles depth, blocked by a granite layer. But the danger wasn't over. It was just postponed. Post-event studies revealed why Tahoe dodged catastrophe. A 1.2-mile thick layer of Sierra Nevada granite acted as a natural barricade. The magma simply couldn't fracture this ancient, ultra-dense rock. But here's the catch. Geothermal scans show the granite is now fractured from the 2003 event, 37% weaker than before. The magma didn't disappear. It pooled into a 12 cubic mile chamber that still glows on infrared satellites. Current heat flow measurements show it's cooling at just 0.4 degrees Celsius per year meaning it remains dangerously close to liquidous temperature. One good shake could reactivate the entire system. 2023 laser scans reveal alarming changes. The Tahoe Basin is inflating by 0.4 inches annually. Undeniable proof the magma chamber is repressurizing. Earthquake swarms in 2014 and 2018 followed the exact same pathways as the 2003 event suggesting the magma is testing its roots to the surface. Most terrifying? The 2003 magma left behind a network of fractures reaching up to six miles deep, essentially creating a highway for future intrusions. What took months in 2003 could now happen in weeks. Monitoring stations now scan for harmonic tremors 24 seven, the last warning before potential eruption USGS models give Tahoe a 17% chance of another significant magma intrusion within 50 years. While full eruption odds remain low, 0.3%, the consequences would be catastrophic. Phreatic explosions could send superheated steam and rock fragments miles into the air. As seen at Japan's Mount Antake in 2014, 
The real danger isn't lava flows. It's lethal gases and sudden ground collapse. Tahoe's magma is rich in CO2 and sulfur. A sudden release could create deadly gas clouds like Cameroon's Lake Neos disaster, 1986, which suffocated 1,700 people overnight. Shoreline communities would have mere minutes to evacuate. Scientists agree on the eruption precursors. One, harmonic tremor sequences lasting over 20 minutes. Two, ground uplift exceeding six inches. Three, sudden temperature spikes in lake water. Four, massive fish kills from CO2 releases. In 2003, we got lucky. These signs appeared gradually over months. Next time might be different. Magma pathways are now preheated and fractured. A new intrusion could reach critical depth in days, not weeks. The Tahoe Monitoring Network now includes 47 seismometers, 12 GPS stations, and eight gas sensors. But nature doesn't always give fair warning. A worst case scenario would begin with a magnitude five plus earthquake swarm, followed by shoreline ground cracking. As magma hits groundwater, explosive steam eruptions could hurl boulders the size of cars across the basin. Toxic gas plumes would force evacuations from Tahoe City to Incline Village. The lake itself would become acidic and turbulent. Boiling zones would appear near magma vents, while CO2 bubbling could create deadly density currents, exactly like the 1986 Lake Neos disaster. Resorts would become death traps within hours of the first major tremor. Despite the risks, Tahoe has no volcano evacuation plan. Local officials argue eruption odds are too low to justify panic. But geologists warn this is dangerously complacent. The 2003 event proved magma can move here. Current monitoring budgets are being cut, leaving critical gaps in coverage. Worse, new construction directly over the 2003 magma paths continues unabated. The Tahoe Vista luxury condo development sits precisely where the magma came closest to the surface. Engineers assure residents it's safe, but no building can withstand direct magma contact. Geology doesn't care about human timelines. The basin and range province is stretching Tahoe's crust thinner each year. Magma will find its way up again. The only question is when. Current models suggest a 50% chance of another intrusion by 2070. But nature doesn't follow statistics. As you watch this, sensitive equipment is detecting subtle tremors beneath the lake. They're small now, barely detectable. But remember, the 2003 catastrophe began exactly this way. This video isn't fear-mongering. It's your wake-up call. The Earth here is alive, and it's watching us back. This isn't history. It's a countdown. Smash like, subscribe, and share this warning. Because when Tahoe rumbles again, you'll want to be the first to know.